right, good morning comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nürburgring. Welcome, as the title of this video suggests, to a very special video. And it's actually the second time that we're shooting the intro because the first one was kind of rushed. It was low on battery and the car deserves actually a bit more attention than we give it in the first place. Because we have here just an Opel Speedster with this massive diffuser is giving it away and the car is owned and built by Lapo. How are Hello. you doing? Pretty good actually. Dude, I gotta shake your hand not because of the hello but for building such a impressive piece of machinery. Because this is something you cannot buy. Um, this is something you cannot buy. The brakes is something you cannot buy and definitely not this big diffuser. I could probably even step oh, on it. Actually, if you, want to, if you want to start from here, you can actually stand here and go up and down what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, uh, I don't even know where to start anymore. I mean, let's walk over the specs. The most prominent thing is, of course, the aero. And this yeah. is something that you built by yourself. Yeah, actually, it, I finished uh, Saturday morning, finishing all the aero. Really? Yeah. And wow. then I came up from, if you know Italy, from Florence, all up to Nürburgring. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a bit rushed, so I, I couldn't finish everything, but I got, I got to a good point. It, it is quite a good point, I must say. So, aerodynamic is the most impressive point which was has been completely developed by you as well so yeah, uh, well I, at least I tried to <laughs> you try to you're being way too humble man this yeah. is like honestly well yeah well you'll see it in a bit when I drive the car but yeah uh, so designs built everything yeah, pretty uh, much I'm, I'm still studying so it's all on, on a budget uh -huh. uh, so I, I had to do everything by myself because I couldn't afford it if, uh, if I had to <laughs> Ask someone to do it. So uh, I did all the uh, all the modification by myself. By myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so front spoiler, uh, rear diffuser. Yeah. Uh, it's missing the side skirts and the yep. wing because they're still in production. Let's say. Still in production. Uh, but yeah, it, it has been. Uh, I tested. I 3D modeled everything. Mm -hmm. uh, 3D modeled the car uh, on in CAD. Yeah. And did all the CFD work uh, to optimize. So. Uh, so you actually did so so called wind tunnel testing in yeah, the in, in computer with a, simulations. With a free software that it, it works and not it doesn't work, but as you try as, as yes. you've seen, it does do it does do works. impressive thing. Basically this car pretty much generates ground effects like the old school formula cars and current formula cars more or less are doing. It sucks so much air that at high speed it just starts scraping because it generates so much pressure. The only thing it's missing are the side skirts to benefit it even more. Yeah, side skirts. Well, actually, let's start from the front. Okay. So basically, uh, this is 25 millimeters thick, mm -hmm. which is not uh, really good for um, for a splitter, but it's what I could work with. Yeah. Uh, it's foam core. Um, on top, it's two layers of 400 grams uh, carbon fiber. And under, under, underneath, there is one layer and then three la layers of uh, Kevlar. Okay, to make it because, more sturdy. Not sturdy, but uh, because Kevlar is more Less flex. resistant. No, it's uh, good for abrasion and carbon for stiffness. Okay. So because it's, I would, I, I knew that it, would, it was going to scrape yeah. everywhere, I said, let's prevent that. Yeah. So the diffuser, uh, the splitter, and also the fuser from the fuser has three, um, let's say, tunnels. Okay. So... Do you have some pictures that we can insert in the video? Uh, no, because I didn't have time to... Oh, really? Because I you just... I worked all every day for 15 days from morning, from 6 a.m. to uh, to bring it here, yeah. I'm gonna ask if we can put the car in the lift. I want to see it underneath, honestly, in a second. We found out it's not that easy to put the car in a lift, so we're gonna go more old school. It's not gonna be easy to show because it's only... You don't need much... Uh, you know, tunnel in the front. Uh -huh. See if it's, so it's only three degrees, but it's the shape that's important. Yeah. Uh, as a wing, you see it's thick in the front and then thin in, in the rear. Mm -hmm. Same, uh, let's say, design here. So you'll see it's gonna be. So what do we look at? So here it's thicker, you see? Yeah. So from here up to here, there's three centimeters difference. Yeah. So it's difficult to see, but it's like a concave shape. Uh huh. So uh, the different pressure sucks down the car. Yeah. And also on the sides here, you can see there's a slight difference. See how thin it is here? Here is thin. Yeah. And then, thin, yeah. Thick. Yeah. And then thin again. Okay. 
So that's some aero magic. And it's two degrees tilted down. Yeah. Wow. And then the big diffuser. And then the big, yeah, in the, in the back. And some more tunnels yeah. and some stuff. Still needs to be finished. Oh well, I have some dangly stuff. <laughs> yeah. But you can see it's all flat, flat bottom. Yeah. Some stock. This is, I didn't do this. Okay. But I re utilize all the stock uh, uh -huh. mounting locations from the, let's say, factory diffuser, which is just a cover panel. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. How much like the small things can do so much? Yeah. Like just like the difference in thickness. Need much. Uh, you just need to design it well. Wow, really cool. Okay, you will see the effect of the arrow in a bit on the lab, but moreover you also modified a couple of other things. Yeah. So starting with the brakes are custom because yeah, you, so the I'm bells... The, front because the best thing I did is taking uh, the, power, uh, the power brakes off. Oh yeah, the, power, the, the brake booster and the power steering, everything is out. So, and also no ABS and nothing. So, as you can see it's a bit of a hack, but... Yeah. Um, so you have dual master cylinders mm -hmm. for brake bias and then where it was supposed to be the ABS system I redid the, um, the plumbing so yeah. deleting that. Yeah. Then I have well suspension if you can see it here it just um, gets monos uh, that I have uh, revalved and different springs so five You revalved the suspension yourself? No, I didn't. I didn't okay, okay. but you had it uh, someone done. Yeah, yeah, okay. I had, I had it re redone and I put uh, 550s in front yeah. and 650s in, uh, in the rear which yeah. is still not enough because <laughs> you're gonna bottom out. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to redo the suspension because they didn't account for downforce. Yeah, because no. This is the suspension that I came last year with. Okay. Yeah, so you need to stiffen it up a bit. Yeah. Impressive. Uh, then the brakes, you said different brake bells. Yeah, so, the, the... Uh, these are AP uh, 5200. Yeah. Um, which I've repainted yellow because I'm a bit of a ricer, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so you have uh, 6061 aluminum bells with full floating 330 millimeters um, uh, discs. Mm -hmm. Which is overkill for the car, but I want to go for 10 laps without overheating. You know? Yeah, no, it makes sense. Yeah. And in addition, as mentioned, no ABS and adjustable brake bias. So you'll see it was for me like lots of work to make sure that we don't do anything uh, stupid. And uh, Did you lock the front? No, not, not a single time. I told time. you, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not actually all the way up. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could bring more. I could, but I did. Uh, the notch life is not the best place to test uh, <laughs> braking uh, power or capabilities <laughs> or uh, incapabilities. OZ racing, well, Formula wheels. Yeah, these I bought used, and these is actually got the only good one. Yeah. Because all the rest are super curved. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they work. Five nine five RSR mm, Pro not type. Great, not, not not the to best. Me, let's say. For this car, they're not great because they don't come up to temperature. Yes. Because it's too light, and these tires are made for yeah, kind, the cars. Yeah, it's, uh, it felt like wood, I would yeah. say. Also, on, uh, once we were finished with the lap. Now, uh, power. Let's talk about uh, that. Want me to open? Yes, let's do it. So, uh, quick release, hatches, catches, yeah, eBay buttons. Yeah, special <laughs> button, quick release But it button. works? Yeah, it, these are shit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, it's 2.2. Uh, uh, GM Ecotec. Yeah. Uh, used to be nitrogen aspirated. Used to be yeah, 150 more so crank horsepower. Yeah. But I put a, let's, it's not called a snail, it's got a, a supercharger. Yeah. Which I prefer personally. Yes. Because it's like having a big engine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's better for these types of engines. Yeah. That's and why. It's more linear and on track is way better yeah. for my taste. It's basically Lotus 360 Cup R or something yeah. because it is at the end of the day a Lotus, right? Yeah. Uh, the chassis is the same as the S2. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the interior frame. bit as well, pretty much. A lot. Yeah, it's it's similar. Yeah. But the subframe it's different. One one thing I want to do is because I had it all apart. Yeah. Um, I want to change the subframe or at least uh, weld. Even uh, don't no, don't like the uh, the welds. They're not the best. The valves? The welds. Oh, the welds. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, first time tech welding. It's not the. Dude, if this is the first time welding, it's like, come on. You you you, 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 you know a, you know how many of, people, including my, here. In, how many people, including myself, you like make feel as if we have two left hands growing out of our ass. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this is the first time. Come on. <laughs> uh, yes. But this is, is the this is the wing mount, right? Yeah, and it's also a subframe brace. Okay. Because these 
flex all the other place. So subframe flex and immediately wing mount for the ultimate downforce on the exact yeah. space where you need it. Uh, I designed it so it was supposed to be aluminum. Yeah. But I didn't. Uh, my friend didn't have an aluminum, aluminum welder. Yeah. And didn't have the rods okay. uh, for TIG welding aluminum. Mm. And I didn't know how to do it. Mm. So uh, I said, I'm gonna go do steel. I make welded steel all the time. Yeah. So I said, well, try, let's try yeah. <laughs> uh, TIG welding uh, steel. Yeah. Nice. No. And, uh, and that's. That it's also it's subframe brace uh -huh. and also wing supports. Yeah. And I wanted to stiffen up everything because. Uh, Let's say, let's be nerdy, the calculations yeah. <laughs> of, the, of the CFD and all everything, the wing was supposed to do around, uh, let's say, a lot of downforce. You said you told me 600 pounds, so how much? Yeah, on the maximum attack, yeah, with, uh, because it designed dual element, Yeah. Uh, with both elements, it's supposed to do like 600, yeah. Wow. So, next year you're coming back with a big wing. We'll have next to do a track day then, probably. Yeah. Uh, well, Next plan is if I find the, the time and uh, everything to do it would be forging the engine, bigger supercharger, um, all the interior goes out, uh, wing, uh -huh. finishing the side skirts, diffuser, suspension because I don't like these guys. Yeah. Uh, like they're good for the stock car. Yeah. But I want to I want to custom let's say but they're super expensive so we'll see about that for next year <laughs> <laughs> awesome this is amazing dude thank you so much and uh yeah well in, you guys enjoyed the lap and the reason why i'll be driving myself is because with two people it would be scraping actually with one person was already scraping on the straights because that's how much downforce it was generating so yeah thank you very much for the opportunity and trusting me with your really precious baby it was a pleasure and looking you know, forward to seeing you a dream, actually. next year yeah oh, dude the, for me it was you will see on the video that it was probably it's probably one of the most special cars that i've driven when you take into consideration that it was built by one student on a budget <laughs> <laughs> cool, so we are right now in the car. I'm not sure if you can see our passenger who will be jumping out in the car park. But important thing that you didn't mention previously on camera, yeah. car has no ABS, no, no power steering, nothing. everything's been taken out. Uh, it has two master cylinders, bias, block, uh, bias brakes, so yeah. front and rear. You What's the brake bias you've set up? So you know? I like a more front bite, so 65. Uh, and it doesn't lock up for now, so wow. I, I can feel how stiff the brake pedal is. It's going yeah. to be interesting. And now I, I put, I, I went through eight, uh, eight, uh, three sizes of, uh, of, uh, of how do you say, master cylinders. Okay, it, so you it was too stiff. Wow, Ex excited to try it out. Yeah. So it reminds me of a Lotus. It's the same chassis of okay. the S2 Elise. All right, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's different. And it's, yeah. it was cheaper for me, so <laughs> no, I couldn't afford it anymore right now. But. Wow, I'm excited. Well, thanks again. I'm gonna drop you off here. Have fun. Yeah, can you give this to these guys? Sure. Yeah, thank uh, you. See you in a bit. Yeah. Go slow the streets. Or well, at least try to. Okay, <laughs> all right. Extremely excited. Is the window? Yeah, window is open, so we should close it probably. Although it has no air conditioning, it has no nothing. He also told me to uh, wear gloves because the steering wheel is slippery. But I think, well, yeah, I didn't have time. But I think I should be okay-ish with all the calluses from the gym. Big flex. <sighs> Let's go. Did they close the track? The steering wheel is not adjustable, so I can choose either having good pedal control or a steering control. So I'm also a bit too far away, but otherwise I won't be able to shift gears or like operate the pedals. Anyway, all the driver excuses, let's go.
kids already bundling out on the street. The issue with low cars, other guys may not see you in time, so always cautious with overtaking. Okay, good to go. They might have closed the track. It's really tricky on the way on the streets. It's basically full on ground effect.
red line is above 6,000, didn't know that. Just a mechanical engineering student who built a car with pretty much almost wouldn't say ground effect but it's not far off it I haven't experienced a car that would scrape on the main straight because it's generating so much downforce that it's just getting so crazy without the wing the underbody is just my god holy shit this must be like one of the most exp impressive cars that I've drove, I've driven because taking into consideration that it's just being built by like homemade by a student thinking like okay this is probably the best my god Woo. maybe I should contact him for some custom aero mods wow 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 <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and are just as impressed. This is really good. Sorry for the scraping. I lifted on the streets as he asked me. I did not expect that it would be on the in compressions as well. Because he said compressions should be normally fine. Uh. Ah. I need a drink. Dude. What the fuck have you built? <laughs> That's the car has just basically ground effect yeah. pretty much. Can you feel it? it it's, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's purposing actually. Yeah, I <laughs> I thought it wouldn't be like this bad, but it's actually like like a old school Formula One car that you see it's yeah, just like because I have two sort of springs. Wow. Okay, you told me that I should lift on the straights, which you I did. did. Oh, I okay, did. you did. <laughs> I did, but in the bottom of Huxle it was not straight, it's corner, wow. so that's where I experienced it. But then a couple of like compression bits yeah. because I asked you previously if compression bits were okay. No, you're fine. Nope. No? The car bottoms out like on certain points. So at least with my yeah, drive in. There is three layers of 400 grams per square meters of Kevlar, so you're fine. <sighs> no, I said it without you in the car, but this is probably one of the most impressive cars I've driven. Really? Yes. Just taking into consideration that you built it by yourself. <laughs> with all this like arrow that you would just see on traditional F1 cars and there's no wing there is no wing it's super front biased yeah yeah the car really like wants to but dance. I, ch I, I changed all these uh, well I changed what I could with the suspension that I have yeah if I had more <laughs> settings, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I would have changed more exactly uh, but I tried to keep it more stable in the rear because for the first yesterday yeah um, 
it was super all it was all over the place yeah yeah no the, I, I i couldn't have given you the car in that state yeah no the car is like i would say in certain corners it is kind of it's a bit too much tail happy like it wants yeah. to uh, turn in of course you can you, like on a front wheel driven car that's no issue because they use it like you know you yeah. just go on the gas and that's yeah, it yeah. Here it's very difficult because once it starts oversteering, it goes. It goes. Yeah. You cannot correct it with throttle, and with lifting you can only yeah. destroy yourself no, more. No, if you lift, you're dead. You're dead, exactly. And that's why it's it's a really challenging car to drive. Yeah, but it's the best to me. To my <laughs> for sure. But I'm really impressed. Like I, like I don't know what I expected when I got in this car, but I definitely did not expect this. I still like, have some kinks to iron out, you know. So. Are you like, can people hire you for their Formula One team or something? Oh, well, if someone <laughs> wants me, uh, I'm gonna, I, I have to do an internship from September. Contact uh, this guy. <laughs> this, like, I'm always impressed by the things that Formula students build, you know? I'm not a Formula student. There you go. <laughs> and, dude, again, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to me. It's, it's like a dream of mine uh, that you drive my car. I wanted to have it complete, but I couldn't. Next year. Next year for sure yeah and i think maybe then we should either compromise or take it on the gp track where we yeah. are not afraid of just yeah. having so, the full uh, ground effect man i also need to do uh, skirts because now all the air is coming out the ah, ah oh okay okay <laughs> driver <laughs> engineer excuses <Yeah. laughs> not driver excuse me <sighs> um yeah again speechless Woo. i need a drink that's amazing <laughs> no oh Okay, well, yeah, it's super unintuitive. Yeah. <laughs>